cool. Hey, Nick Nation, bring it on in here and take a little break from all of that candy. Oh, yeah. Come check our bag because it's full of your favorite weekend highlights that we're turning into slime lights. This is NFL Slime Time. Hit it, DJ Slime Time. <laughs> Bring on the slime. You know it's slime time, 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 slime time. This is NFL Slime Time. What up, what up, what up, slime timers? Get ready, get ready, get ready. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Happy post Halloween, slime timers. We hope you all had a great week of celebration. I'm Nate Burleson. I hope your bags were overflowing. It's your boy, Young Dill. Okay, Dill. NFL Week 8 is in the books, so let's get right to it. What are your headlines? Nate, on Friday, we are 100 days away from the Super Bowl in Las Vegas. That is crazy. Real crazy. And we can't wait for Super Bowl 58. And don't forget our Slime Time friends. The big game will be on CBS Sports and Nickelodeon. Oh, yeah. And our Super Bowl will be unlike any game you've ever seen before. Ooh, I like that tease. OK, deal. what's next? Tyreek Hill. In just eight games, Nate, he already has over a 1,000 receiving yards. Having played the position, I can tell you that is a superhuman accomplishment. Tyreek is on pace for the most yards ever by a receiver in a single season. That is just incredible. Those are some good ones, Dill. Okay, it's time to set up our favorite game, Catch and Count. Dylan, what are we looking for today? In today's Catchy Count is the Slime Head! And you know how we play, starting with the slime lights. Count how many times you see the slime head anywhere in the show. Then at the end of the show, after we announce the MVP, we will give you the catch and count total results. And if your number matches our number, you win the game. OK, get ready, slime timers, because here come your slime lights. The Rams at the Cowboys. Yeah. The Cowboys were looking to corral the Rams in this Dallas showdown. First quarter, Cowboys cornerback Deron Bland says howdy, partner, to this Matt Stafford pass and takes it back to the Rams for six. His third pick six of the game. Get it up. Second quarter action, Cowboys QB Dak Prescott ropes this one to his receiver, C.D. Lamb. Oh, yeah, there's a new sheriff. <laughs> And wanted by this sheriff was another touchdown. And he got his man, Nate. This one was for 22 yards and makes CD an MVP nominee. CD broke those Rams, giving Dallas a big win. For sure, Deal. 12 catches, 158 yards, and two touchdowns. Wow. Career highs for catches in yards. CD gets an A+. Plus. My Eagles at the command. From CD to DC, and this one was definitely a circus. Fourth quarter, tied at 17. Commanders quarterback Sam Howell airs this one out to Logan Thomas for the score. Commanders take the lead. But not for long. Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts wasn't clowning around and launches this one 38 yards to wide receiver Devontae Smith. And we're all tied up under the big top. After the Eagles took the lead, they closed the show with a little bit of magic. Eagles running back DeAndre Swift cycles in for the score. And the win. My Eagles are 7-1. Best record in the NFL. The Falcons at the Titans. Music City, where this band was looking for a new frontman. Oh, yeah. I think they found me. Give it up for Will Levis, who came ready to rock and roll. For his opener, he goes big to his receiver, DeAndre Hopkins. And the fans go wild. 
Third quarter, Will was already hitting the high notes. This deep cut goes for 61 yards to DeAndre and takes it backstage for his third of the day. Ooh, and the fans want their on pool. And they get one deal. Will again, this time to receiver Nick Westbrook Akine, who closes this show out with the stage dive. Will is for sure to date you on the top of the charts. He's already on our charts as an MVP nominee. What a performance, Bob. Look. Record breaking. Show me the set list. 238 yards and four touchdowns. Well, Levis, welcome to the NFL. The Bengals at 49. Bengals quarterback generous Joe Burrow got everyone tickets to the fall festival. First quarter, Joe goes seven yards to Tyler Boyd, who lands in the leaf pile. That looks like fun. So much fun, Joe does it again. Here he tosses 17 yards to his wide receiver, Jamar Chase, who goes bobbing for touchdowns. Oh, an apple a day keeps the defense away. Now in the fourth quarter, Bengals running back Joe Mixon shows off his potato sack racing skills. But had a little trouble getting out of the potato sack, Nate. Bengals bag a victory. The Chiefs at the Broncos. Ah, real scary day in Denver with the big bad Kansas City Chiefs taking the field at mile high. But the Broncos were real monsters in this one. Second quarter, Broncos quarterback Danger Russ Wilson eyeballs the end zone and tosses to receiver Jerry Judy. Can you dig it? I like his energy. And he'll like this, too. Fourth quarter, Russell to his receiver, Courtney Sutton, to put this one away. Ah, real touchdown. And a real win to make number three an MVP a nominee. The Broncos beat the Chiefs. Wow. That snaps a 16-game Chiefs winning streak over the Broncos. Russ was cooking. 144 total yards and three touchdowns. He beat the Chiefs. Wow. And those are your salon lights. Wow. That right there is one tight list of MVP nominees. Last week's MVP was the Browns' Miles Garrett. And when you're Miles, you're not just getting the trophy, you also get to slime whoever you want. I'm Miles Garrett, and it's time to get slime. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Miles delivering smiles. Now that's what it's all about. And we have our own guy that's always smiling. His name? George Johnston IV. Because George knows what? Football. Duh! Come on now, guys. How you guys doing? OK, football fans, I've got a new name for you to remember. Will Levin. Heard of him yet? No? Well, let's just say that after Sunday, He's tight and wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins' new best friend. Because on Sunday, D Hop got into D end zone three times from Will Levis' touchdown passes. And overall, Will did something only two other rookies have ever done in NFL history. And that's cost four touchdowns in their NFL debut. And why is that a really big deal? Well, the Titans have been struggling. So much so that in their previous six games, they have only thrown and one of those was thrown by their running back. So, who is this Will Levis guy? Well, first of all, he's probably the new starting quarterback in Tennessee. He played his college football for the Kentucky Wildcats, was taken 33rd overall in the 2023 NFL Draft, and he's known to have giant hands. Well, at least bigger than any of the first-round quarterbacks taken in this year's draft which is probably good for holding a football. Oh, and one more thing. While some players have clothing and sneaker endorsement deals, Will Levis has a mayonnaise deal. Yeah, he gets free mail for life, just for making it known that he likes the condiment in his coffee. Hey, whatever works. G4 out.
Great job, George! Coming up next, our Nickelodeon NFL insider Dylan Shepard yucks it up with the Dolphins superstar Christian Wilkins. And crashing the pick party this week is Nickelodeon's favorite culinary superstar, Tiny Chef. Then Big Name will announce the week AFB. Time now for NFL Slime Time Trivia. Which city has hosted the most Super Bowls? A, Miami, B, New Orleans, or C, Los Angeles? We'll give you the answer right after the break. Are you using a plunger to unclog the shake machine? At Years of magic. Super Bowls. If you said A, Miami, you got it. Now back to Nate and Young Dylan. Sun and fun, Miami has it all. It's a city with a great big personality, just like the Dolphins defensive tackle Christian Wilkins, who sat down this week with our Nickelodeon NFL insider, Dylan Schechter. Are you the best dancer on the Dolphins? And if not, where do you rank? I would say by default, I'm number one only because of the passion and the energy. I think, you know, when you do something with all your heart and with a free spirit, it's tough to beat. The fans want to know, when are we going to see the worm again? I usually like to give the people what they want and what they're asking for. So if the fans want to see it again, we can definitely make something like that happen. What is the most kid-like thing that you still do to this day? I'm just a big kid when it comes to Power Rangers, and I get so geeked up and excited every time anyone mentions Power Rangers. Still do my morph celebration every time I get a sack now. You were a substitute school teacher, so how did that come about? I always had a passion for helping others, and being able to teach gave me that opportunity. I had a lot of fun doing it. Well, I was definitely bigger than uh, most teachers that any of the students ever had before. Would you like if your students gave you apples, or is there something else they can give you? I need something with a little bit more substance. You know, like my favorite food, some wings, or a nice burger, or some candy. That's nice, too. What advice can you give to slime timers out there who often forget their homework? Do it early. Don't procrastinate. Put it away from your dog so he can't eat it or anything like that. Make sure you're definitely doing your homework. Thanks, Christian Wilkins. Good luck the rest of the year. I'm sure when Christian the Power Ranger was trick-or-treating, he finished his night with a very full bag of candy. No doubt. And I heard that there's another NFL superstar that enjoys a sweet treat. For more, let's check in with our Mia B. Because Mia's got facts. I don't want to say Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow is superstitious, but sources tell me number nine has to eat one caramel apple lollipop before every single game. Stay back. Your bad luck. If that's true, Joe might have the most delicious superstition ever. I'm Mia B, and those are the facts. Thank you, Mia. OK, it's time to get that jersey on, because it's party time. Celebrity pit party time. Brought to you by Lego Technic. And here's how we play. You pick a game from the upcoming week nine schedule, pick who you think is going to win that game. If your pick wins, you wear the coveted slime chain. If your pig loses, you'll wear the coveted slime. Now let's take a look back at last week's game pick results and see who's earned the slime chain. Wolfgang Schaefer, nice pick. Your Chargers got it done. As for the rest of us, wow, everyone had a winning pick. I guess no one's getting slimed at the end of the show. Never fear, slime timers. There will be slime at the end. I have a plan. OK, new week, new game. Crashing the party this week is a very special guest, culinary superstar, Tiny Chef. Yep, hey, over here, that's me, Tiny Chef. <laughs> Tiny Chef's game. The Cowboys at my evil. Cowboys are coming off a statement win over the Rams. Meanwhile, the division-leading Eagles will try to stay undefeated at home. Tiny Chef, for you uh, 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 ta da! Oh, I'm Eagles are very fast, a very majestic, and also the jersey of winning what me. Eagles for the win! Great pick, Tiny <laughs> Chef. George, you're up next. George's game. The command at the Patriots. The commanders are looking to bounce back after a tough home loss to the Eagles. As for the Patriots, they're seeking just their second home win of the season. George, you got my winning pick. 
the Washington Commanders. Okay, Dylan Schefter, you're on deck. Dylan the Buccaneers at the Texans. Baker and the Bucks are hoping to right the ship after last week's Thursday night loss to the Bills. As for the Texans, they can up their home record to 3-1 and one if they pull off the win on Sunday. I'm taking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Mia looks ready to go. Her game, the Giants at the Raiders. The Raiders are back home after a Monday night road loss to the Lions. Meanwhile, the Giants could use a good road win to help get their season back on track. Me, Giants or the Raiders? There can only be one winner. The Las Vegas Raiders. Oh, it's go time! Or should I say, mess time? <laughs> the final two picks of the party. Nate's first up. His game, the Rams at the pack. The Rams are on a two-game losing streak, and the Packers are on a four-game losing streak. But someone has to win, right? Okay, Nate. So who are you taking? My pick is enjoying a spa day. A spa day? Yeah, soaking right here in this seaweed salad. So it's edible? This is a seaweed salad. It's actually real. See? <laughs> oh, my gosh! That is disgusting! All right. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I'm going in. Yeah. How does my breath smell? Ah. Does it like baby diapers? Does it smell fishy? That is disgusting. Okay, all right. Come on, Nate, just get it out already. I'm trying, man. I think I got it, man. Yeah! I'm taking the Los Angeles Rams. You're up. My game is the Bills at the Bengals. The Bengals are coming into this one riding a three-game winning streak. As for the Bills, they won last week at home but are just one and two on the road. So, Dylan, who are you going with? My pick is right here in this can of trash potatoes. Ugh, nasty. And it stinks. Whatever, seaweed salad guy. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and find your pick. Yeah. I'm going in, Nate. Yeah, go in and find your pick before the flies take it. Those flies are guarding my pick. <sighs> oh, yeah. Get up in there, bro. Ooh, that looks delicious. It's all good. Yeah, I love mashed potatoes. <sighs> <sighs> Gotta be in here somewhere. Yeah. Hold on. Feel something. <sighs> what do you feel? Okay, here's the recap of our week nine picks. And don't forget, you can play along with us at home. And that wraps up this week's Celebrity Pick Party, brought to you by Lego Technic. Okay, slime timers, don't move. Big Nate will be here with the big MVP news and get ready for a slime surprise. More NFL slime. Catch you next week, Slime Timers. I'm Young Dylan. And stick around, because up next, put your hands in the air for the premiere of Well Versed music videos all about how you can make this country rock. Hey. Now it's Slime, 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 Slime Time.